Arabic Kahwa coffee is one of the more exotic and aromatic coffees found in the Middle East. As a brewing method, Kahwa has for a long time been an integral aspect of Arab culture and is symbolic of a number of cultural and religious principles that are commonplace in Middle Eastern countries. In 2015, UNESCO added Kahwa to its intangible cultural world heritage list. The Kahwa ceremony is a sign of hospitality for people from a range of socio-economic backgrounds in the Middle East. The word Kahwa simply means coffee in Arabic. There are many variations to Arabic Kahwa. Roast profile also plays an important role in Kahwa and can vary depending on the country all the way from the dark, almost Turkish coffee type to the very light Arabic kahwa, depending on where you are in the Middle East. In some regions in Saudi Arabia, they like very light roast. People in the north like it dark, where people from UAE like a medium dark, with each region having their added preferences. Almost always, the coffee has added cardamom and other spices such as rose water, ginger, cloves, and saffron based on individual preference and family traditions. For this video, we'll be using a light roasted coffee similar to what we would term underdeveloped in specialty coffee standards. Arabic kahwa is traditionally made on the stovetop in a dala or in a stovetop kettle and then poured into a dala, the coffee pot or saba later served in little cups without handles, which are known as fenjals. Typically, a dala is a rounded coffee pot which tapers in the middle. The handle is thin so that it can be comfortably picked up and often the pot has a lid to keep the coffee hotter for longer. The dala is usually made from brass or stainless steel, but more expensive pots can either be gold-plated or even made from gold. For the ingredients, you will need three cups of water, one tablespoon heaped of Arabica light roasted coffee, one tablespoon crushed cardamom, and your vessels. To brew, as this type of coffee is typically made at home, you would expect to find many recipes. This recipe comes highly recommended by a coffee colleague in Saudi Arabia. Start off by boiling the water and then reduce the flame underneath the pot and add the ground coffee at a ratio of almost 15. We increase the flame a little bit and leave the coffee turning in the pot as it boils for 10 minutes, then switch off the burner and leave it for five minutes. Some people add three pieces of ground clove at the end. Then coffee is poured in the serving pot over the ground cardamom. Some people love to add small amounts of milk or saffron when the coffee boils in the pot. When pouring kahwa, a dala is held high above a fenjal. The sound of the coffee being poured into a fenjal is an indication for the guests to relax and feel at home. It's usually served without sugar as it's always accompanied by something sweet such as dates. In Arab countries, kahwa represents much more than a brewing method. Its traditional significance has made it a staple of Middle Eastern culture. 